I just wanted to do another update, but this is more about me. Um, a lot of y'all are asking me how I'm doing. And honestly, I'm a mess. It's almost 9.30 p.m. and I haven't ate yet because I just didn't feel like eating with all this going on. I have a headache that I'm sure is because I haven't ate and because I'm so emotionally a mess. I'm stressed out. Um... My whole family's a mess. I've already broke down like three times and had complete meltdowns. But, you know, I've always been the type of person that when I need to cry, I'm going to cry. I don't care where I'm at. I don't care who I'm around. If I need to cry, I'm going to cry. So I've already had about three meltdowns. I think I'm going to have a million more. Um, so, yeah, I'm a mess. Uh, definitely trying to put on a brave face right now because I could break out into tears right now. Um, it's just it's devastating. This is, I, I'm used to death. My family is an old family. Like, my dad is 75. My mom is 64. So, you know, I'm used to people in my family dying, but I've never had a family member die in prison. And with the whole nobody being able to afford to bring him home and give him a proper burial and put him next to his mom, which is my mom's sister, um... This is definitely a death that I've never dealt with before, and I hope I never have to deal with again. Uh, I can't explain to y'all. Unless y'all have had somebody in prison die, and you couldn't afford to bring their body home and give them the proper burial, I can't explain to you how it feels. Like It's, it's devastating. On top of the death, it's devastating to know that he's going to be buried in some random place with not around people that know him somewhere where we can't go visit because we can't afford to go visit there all the time um no tombstone he's gonna be thrown in just a box it's heartbreaking like i can't explain to y'all the pain i feel um and I really feel like he's looking down and he's like, my family doesn't love me. They're, they're doing this to me, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We just can't afford to, to give you what you deserve. And that's heartbreaking, but, you know, we're not rich and, uh, you know, we're middle class people who, you know, we, we without the insurance, we wouldn't afford to be able to bury ourselves. So, you know, uh, that's the life of a, of a middle class family uh so you know i definitely hope that he's looking down and he doesn't feel that way but that's definitely how i feel and that breaks my heart i feel like he's mad um 